that uproarious applause. We are Be Kind to Strangers. We're going to do some sketch comedy for you. Uh, but before we do that, um, guys, I've been having a, a really bad day. I've been having yeah. a really bad week. Uh, and when, when that happens to me, I like to find solace in some childhood treasures of mine. So I wanted to share some passages with you from my favorite book when I was a kid, uh, the What's Happening to My Body book for girls. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for the best birthday present a kid could ask for. Um, I just find that no matter what I'm going through, Linda Martiros is right there to hold my hands when I have difficult questions. And I don't know where to turn to. So I want to read some personal testimonials out of my favorite chapter, chapter four, Boobs, boobies, knockers, melons, jugs, tits, and titties. <laughs> Your breasts. And these are from real women. I want to see some real problems, guys. So the first one I have here. Oh, dear. <laughs> One of my breasts was starting to grow, and the other one was still completely flat. I was afraid that the other one would never grow, and I was only going to have one breast. Instead of two. only in the fourth grade when I started developing, and no one else was. I used to wrap one of those bandages, the kind you put on a sprained ankle, around my chest to make me flat. I kept my coat on as much as I could, and I wore baggy clothes all the time. Now that I'm older, I can laugh about it, but back then it wasn't funny at all. <laughs> I didn't start to develop until after my 16th birthday. Everyone, I mean everyone, had breasts but me. They were all in their bras and there I was in my undershirt. I flung to gym in high school because I wouldn't take a shower. I was too embarrassed about my flat chest. Finally, my mom bought me a padded bra. My breasts did eventually start to develop. I really felt bad about myself for a lot of years before they did. I hate when boys stare at my breasts, or whistle or yell stuff at me. It makes me feel like a piece of meat. And it makes me feel self-conscious and dumb. I mean, what can you do? Yell back at them? How would they like it if girls went down the street and stared at their crotches and yelled stuff like, Hey, that's a really big penis you got there. Boys do that. They say stuff like, Hey, that's a great set of jokes. I don't like it. Well, I'm sure that helped you as much as it helped me. We've got a lot of great sketches lined up for you tonight. I really hope you enjoy them. Thank you.